Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your bro, hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'm going to explain nested function calls in Python. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. If you find this video helpful, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Your support will help keep this channel running. All right, people, nested function calls. These are function calls inside of other function calls. And this is possible because certain functions will return a value and we can immediately use that value as an argument for the next function. So here's an example. Let's say that we have this small program where we will ask a user to type in a whole positive number. And let's say I don't. Let's say I type in negative 3.14, and then I'm storing that value within a variable named num. What I'm going to do is convert that number to a floating point number because currently it's a string. When you accept user input, I will find the absolute value of num and then round it to the nearest whole number, and then print the value. So we can actually do this using less lines of code with nested function calls. So let's start with the first function, which will be accepting some user input, the input function. So this will be in the very center of our nested function calls. And then the next function we would like to apply to the variable that is returned, the value that is returned, we will pass in as an argument to our next function of casting this data type to a float. So we'll surround our function with another function and use the float function. And then we'll just keep on adding layers to this. So we have the absolute value function next. So we'll add another layer. And we have the round function. So we'll add a layer to that. And lastly, we're going to print. And that'll be the outermost layer. So this program will do the exact same thing. Let's say negative 3.14 except we've written this with one line of code. So basically, we start with the innermost function and resolve that first. Whatever value is returned, we use as an argument to the next outermost function. And in this case, it would be float. Then we resolve that, then move on to absolute value, then round, and then print. So it's just another way of writing code that takes up less lines, but this is more of an extreme example. You probably won't see like four or five nested functions. Well, everybody, those are nested function calls. If you would like a copy of this code, I will post all of this to the comment section down below. But yeah, those are nested function calls in Python.